So uh, this came out today. Now you may read this and say, oh, but that's just London. No, we have a very, very big problem in the universities. I, I've been, I've been um, trying to raise the red flags. That's likely why I get uh, silenced a lot. When you, when uh, I, mean, I get silenced a lot because one, well, you can't say, nobody can say anything about COVID, right? Not really everything you could say. But, um, or if you say anything about the universities too much, um, and definitely healthcare, they, um, all of the uh, big techs, I, they took down my video yesterday about scientific communism, and that was history, that I read straight from the history on scientific communism. So, the, so you can tell uh, what, what they really want to protect the most, okay? And, and because no matter how the fallout is with this, you know, whatever the fallout is, um, like the politicians and the, the powers that be that are behind all of this, they, they're willing to sacrifice some things but not the science. They want to still do all, which they'll do it no matter what. But because both the science and the universities are out of control in their segregation, in their racism, in their um, uh, teaching students to support terrorist organizations, whether it's BLM or Hamas, um, take your pick. It's really all of them. The kids don't even know it really because they've been indoctrinated and likely indoctrinated before they got to the university even. The university just helped to uh, push it further in. That's why it's so hard that, that genera Generation Z, you can't change them. You, you, they can't, they, that these, these people know what they're doing when it comes to social engineering. So the best thing you can do now moving is you just have to keep calling it out to be the balance against what all of these criminals uh, that are, are violent, are, are, which is our politicians, which is our, uh, the health, I mean, everybody that got on board with BLM, LGBTQ, because it's hurting children, and because of this. This out also today. Transgender University of California Davis professor threatens Zionist journalists and children. Yes, that it seems to be an overriding theme in BLM and LGBTQ, in the pro Hamas, pro or yeah, the pro Hamas, pro Palestinians, in the universities, and it's it, it it's designed. It's so designed. Um, if you still can't see that, and you still think, oh, I'm just a conspiracy theorist. Then why is such why is such wickedness all at every university? And it is. People think, oh, it's just a handful. No, it's not, because they've been getting in. They they, they got in so much into the universities long ago that they there's the, the university is sort of just the finishing ground of social engineering. They were getting you long before that. I'll show that in a minute, but. A little bit about this um, criminally minded uh, dude. A far left trans assistant professor at the University of California Davis is being condemned as revolting by his school for threatening violence against Zionist journalists and their children online. Gemma DeCristo, a biological male who identifies as a black lem lesbian tranarchist. Yes, that's a thing now. Just uh, let me show you that. Yeah. So now the trans movement is transforming once again and they're tranarchists. Yeah, yeah, you'll start seeing that a lot. And just to mention, the reason you will see this a lot is because BLM, LGBTQ, health equity, um, DEI, critical race theory, all of that stuff is all Karl Marx. It's, it's twisted and wicked. So that's the reason why the pro-Palestinian, pro-Hamas group stands with LGBTQ and LGBTQ stands with them and why BLM stands with all of them too. All twisted and yet is so bad in this country, so bad that it's now in the health healthcare, it's in the education everywhere and it's a bunch of politicians, almost all the Democrats. So that's how much these um, forensically criminally minded sick people there is. 
okay again these are the same people that want to push transgenderism on children these are the same and and yet you know it's such there's such hypocrites because if they if if anybody in the L, just for anybody who wants to know this if you are lgb uh, an lgbtq member yeah go to palestine go to the middle east and see how quickly you're thrown off a building for it yeah, you don't get to you don't even get to be your transgender self there. Yeah, they don't accept it, but they will use it here in America when they want to destroy America. Because it makes absolutely no sense for LGBTQ to be standing with BLM or uh the pro nobody in their right mind should be standing for pro Hamas. And the people that are pro Palestinian are standing for pro Hamas. They are. Again, this was an attack that was not like this what that they are twisting this they are this is how much the social engineering is taking place sick these people are sick and i'm being kind by saying that so back to this dude uh yeah a biological male who identifies as a black lesbian tranarchist on uh one of his associated social media profiles came under fire when he posted threats to make pro-israel journalists fear us more he posted that on October 10th. One group of people we have easy access, this is a quote of his, one group of people we have easy access to in the U.S. is all these, Zion, all these Zionist journalists who spread propaganda and misinformation. They have houses with addresses, kids in school. They can fear their bosses, but they should fear us more, end quote. De Cristo wrote it on Twitter. At the end of the post, he uh, inserted emojis depicting a knife and axe and drops of blood. So do you see how the mind, I, I mean, I don't even have to, I can just, like I can't even think of a post where I would put a knife and axe and blood and after making a state, that's how sick. And again, I would, you know, this is, this is criminally sick. In another post, he called with flame emojis for the U.S. Embassy in Lebanon to be burned with the caption, quote, U.S. out of everywhere, U.S. go home, end quote. They're, they're, that's what they all are. I've been saying this for a while, like the LG, or the trans people. Um, you know, these men hate women. They just, they, they become women just so it gives, and then they want to go and wrestle with them or go into the, they just want to beat up women. And right now we have the Democrats seem to hate women because they don't call this shit out. They just want to say somebody like me is a racist. No, this is all sick and twisted. Very twisted. Um, and then even these universities that are coming out, even the ones that are coming out and denouncing this, it's about as believable as the politicians. Like Biden saying he stands with Israel or that he... They knew that these people were going to do all this. They did. They did. This all goes with um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So anytime you see those words, and they don't necessarily have to be together, but out of a university, because this university denounced this but used, oh, our diversity. Yeah, that word, the way it's being used tied to the Agenda 20, the Green New Deal, no. It's, it's part of wanting to segregate. It's part of health equity. It's sick. It's pseudoscience. And it is, is, it, is, uh, it is all part of the same agenda. And here's how much your children for a long time have been being socially engineered long before they came to, or went to the university. So this was 2016. Here's proof the Black Lives Matter movement is making a difference on college campuses. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere in college campuses. That's why it's like these professors, they should have been calling out BLM. They're not very smart people. If they want to get up and call out the pro-Hamas uh, or that they, they're upset about pro-Hamas, then they should be calling out BLM. But Teen Vogue has been very much involved in socially engineering Yep, this was like 2019, Gen Z and unions. So see your unions, your education, your LGBTQ, your BLM, your pro-terrorist groups, they're all one in the same. 2019, uh, this was 2023, how LGBTQ union activists transformed the labor movement because they always were all tied together, all of them. And this is Teen Vogue. Teen Vogue again. 
2017, what to know about your rights to unionize, Teen Vogue. So do you see what they're doing? Yeah, socially engineering your kid with the universities.